Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here in Washington State. Thought I'd come on here and do a little vlog today. We're gonna to be filming it on my phone today, which is a little different, but um, just wanted to start out by showing you guys what I film with. I don't think I've ever really shown what I film these videos with, so yeah, let's get into it. First of all, we've got my GoPros. Um, first one we've got is the original GoPro session. This thing has been beat up, um, but it's still, I'll wipe off the screen real quick. It's still good. No scratches on the screen. <laughs> Audio is actually decent from this uh, GoPro. And um, yeah, no vibration reduction or anything like that. No stabilization, but still does the trick. Next up, we've got the GoPro Hero 5. Um, yeah. There we go, sorry. I'm not used to filming on my phone, guys. So, I, audio pickup on this GoPro is trash. Um, and it, and it kind of does, it kind of has a mind of its own like it just did right now. It just took like a 30 shot burst and um, yeah, I didn't tell it to. So, like I said, I don't suggest this GoPro. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what else to say besides just don't buy a GoPro Hero 5. The picture quality and the stabilization is good, but the audio is absolute garbage. Um, so, yeah, there's that. GoPro Hero 5, again. Next up is my vlog camera. Uh, this is a Canon Vixia HFR 800. Show you that right there. Touch screen, everything's touch screen on here. So, yeah. This is actually a really good camera, and um, it's what I film the majority of my videos on. All my vlogs and B roll and everything like that is on this Canon. Um, this thing has got a really good uh, zoom on it, and it's also somewhat wide angle at its widest. So, it's got good range, you know from near to far and everything like that. Good, um, yeah, just a good solid camera. <laughs> Definitely recommend this as a vlog camera to anyone starting out. I think these run like 250 bucks or something like that. You can definitely find cheaper handy cams, so to say. But uh, yeah, it's a good solid Canon. It's got really good mics, and uh, of course it's got external mic, um, an external mic port and everything like that. So, uh, yeah. Lastly, something I don't use very often is my still camera. It also takes 1080, but um, I just don't really like using it for video. But yeah, it's my Canon D5200. Um, this was actually my grandfather's. I inherited this and, um, a bunch of camera gear from him. Uh, but yeah, this thing takes amazing stills and it takes good video too. Um, but I guess I just haven't got familiar enough with it yet to, to get comfortable using it. So in the meantime, it is relegated as my still camera, which is fine. But uh, things I have for this camera, um, I've got the 40 millimeter prime lens on there right now. I've been taking photos of knives. I've got uh, 55 to 300 telephoto. And 18 to 55. Sort of general use lens. 
Those are kind of the three basic lenses I think you need to get a good start in photography. Um, other than that, I've got a flash. Just your basic Nikon speed flash. Speed light, excuse me. And a mic, which actually works really good. Picks up all kinds of sound. Um, very, very sensitive microphone. And um, it works great. It's a Nikon mic, so it works real good with the camera. All right, I think that does it for <clears throat> everything that I film with. Um, yeah. So I'm going to continue this video on. We have a couple errands I got to run today. And I'm um, going to try to get some stuff done before this winter storm hits us later this week. So I'll be filming everything on my phone, which is going to be a little different. But um, yeah, nice little experiment. So recently I reprofiled, getting into a completely different subject, recently I reprofiled um, my Native 5. I put a, so I put a work sharp edge on this thing, 18 degrees per side, sorry, 17 degrees per side. And, and, and it is super sharp, so. Yeah, this knife has uh, really come a long ways. There goes my GoPro doing its own thing. But anyways, this knife, yeah, I really like it, and um, I'm really enjoying it. It's been my everyday carry ever since I got it, pretty much. I've been carrying this and the Savibi Cogent. It's been the two knives I've been carrying lately. This thing is super fun. Uh, it's a button lock. Yeah, it is. It's got that fidget factor, guys. And it's just a good knife. It's a solid knife overall. And it's fun to look at. Natural G10. Um, yeah, good stuff. I also reprofiled this um, a couple days, about a week ago. Did a full video on that whole process actually I'll link that up there if you guys want to go check it out sorry I keep looking over here usually um, I'm looking straight in the middle at the camera uh, lens because I'm using this and I'm looking off to the side occasionally checking whether everything's in frame well it's the opposite with my phone I've got my phone set landscape style right now um, so the camera's here, and the screen is here, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm looking like up here and over here, looking for the camera lens, and it's not there, it's down there. Hi. So. Alright, I'm going to get ready and get some more of this stuff, uh, coffee, in me. Uh, and then we will get the day started. All right, guys, see you in the next clip. I forgot. I got my mystery tackle box in the mail yesterday, guys. Let's go through it. All right, we got our box here. Let's take a look at what's inside. So, first of all, our paperwork, our bait card, our Dibbles Digest. stuff. First thing I see is a Guggen Squad. Uh, Junior Scout. Jerkbait. Oh yeah. Nice jerkbait. Great bait this time of year. Good bait fish imitation. Alright, alright. Next up from Lucky Craft, we've got a 78 foot diamond square bowl crankbait. Sexy shad color. Real good looking crankbait there, guys. Lucky Craft usually makes some good stuff. Good to see. Next up from Carl's Amazing Baits, we've got their spinner bait. Rocking a mustad hook, 3 8 ounce. Yeah. 
after that, we have got a jig from uh, XI Baits, the Reflux Skipping Jig. Check this bad boy out. Nice. All right. These are all great baits for this time of year, guys. Next up from Kalen's Baits, we've got the Jerk Minnow Jr. Looks like a nice little finesse fluke drop shot type deal. Okay, okay. Good color. Ooh, after that from Biwa Fishing Performance, we've got the Warlax Hyper Action Craw. Take a look at this, guys. Cool. These are going to get a ton of use. Uh, one of Jake's buddies, uh, Bainbridge Bass Fishing's buddies, has been um, on the bass still. So he's been using Texas rigs and jigs. I'm like, I can get down with that. So yeah, anyways, good box. Great stuff. Good for this time of year. Um, yeah, always good to see you. Always, always welcome. More tackle. Okay. Now it's time to get ready um, and get out the door. Let's go. All right, we are uh, heading out of the house now, so letting the Civic warm up. Gonna have to throw some gas in her, looks like. And then uh, hit the uh, little store in town here in Kingston, pick up a couple things for dinner. Pick up a couple things for dinner. And um, yeah, then we'll be uh, we'll be Gucci, we'll be golden. Trying to get as much stuff done as I can while I'm out now. Um, before the end of the week, uh, we're getting toward Christmas at the end of the week, and then we got this winter storm moving in. And um, the Civic, she's great, but she doesn't do great in the snow. Neither does the Mustang. So yeah, just trying to get everything wrapped up and uh, ready to roll hunker down for the storm and uh, enjoy the snow. All right, let's get rolling. to 20 mile an hour winds consistently and uh, yeah the rain's supposed to turn to snow later this week like I said sorry about the camera shake hey guys thought I'd come on here and end this video out I uh, just want to let you know we've got a few videos coming down the pipeline on the channel. Um, we've got a video on the Civivi Cogent, the Hogue, um, Deca, and the Spyderco Native 5. So we got all three of those videos coming down the pipeline shortly uh, for the channel. Other than that, uh, we are sort of preparing for this winter storm so um yeah stay tuned and hopefully next time you see me uh, maybe we'll have some snow or something like that so so i just got my um giveaway package from blade hq let's see what's inside i am so excited um i know what the knife is going to be, but beyond that, I don't know what's going to be in here, so, <laughs> first of all, we got a, a, a Benjamin bug out breakdown mat, very cool, second of all, we got a Knife roll.
Look at this thing. Just one more. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Blade HQ. You guys hooked it up. Next up. Got a lot of packing peanuts. And then. We got our. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We got our Spider Code Tenacious. Oh, it's the lightweight version. Black FRN. Look at this. Awesome, guys. I am super excited about this. I'm so stoked they didn't put a standard uh, Tenacious in the box. Very cool. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Blade HQ. Lastly, as if that wasn't enough, we got some stickers. Some stickers. Nice. And a Victorinox compact. No, oh, it's a Deserve Warrior. What? Check this little guy out. That's going on my keys for sure. Thanks guys. Thank you Blade HQ. Um, I really appreciate it. Made my day. So yeah. All right, I think that's gonna round out this video for the day. So uh, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.